Hi there. Um, today I'm in uh, Kinvara, I'm in Greens, and uh, I come in just to have a chat with Mary here about um, how they're dealing with matters as they are at the moment. So I'll let Mary fill you in there, guys. So how are you, Mary? Well, I'm not too bad at all, Marcia, thanks. Um, it's a change of lifestyle, definitely, you know, since the COVID started in March. But, like, we're just getting on with things and making the most of life as it is now and just trying to get, we get out and about and we do a bit of walk and, and um, drive and, and keep our distance from people and hopefully things will improve. Okay. You know? And uh, obviously, uh, Mary, well, for the people maybe watching and viewing yeah. this, you've, uh, you've decided that you're not going to open up at the moment anyway. Oh, we decided that all right because our place is so small. It's a small traditional pub, yes. and it would just wouldn't be possible to distance people. Okay. And like the way the pub is here, everyone chatted and talked, and yeah, uh, you know, we'd lots of music and different people coming and going. And I'd have to say as well, the people customers now um, were so good, like messaging us, phone and sending mm. cards, um, text and everything. Okay. to see how we were getting on when they knew that we were closed. Okay. But hopefully things will improve and we'll open again when okay. things have, have uh, settled down. And that was a, that was a big decision that Mary forced on you really, I suppose. How long have you been here in the pub? Uh, the pub is over 150 years old, yes. 1865. Is it? And it has never actually been closed before. Yeah. Okay. This is the first time. Yeah. It, that it has been closed for any length of time. Yeah. Yeah. So that, Mary, as I know yourself and Colette and Hillary, are very yeah. involved in the problem. So it must have been a big decision, like family-wise and that, to deal with that emotional stuff. And oh, it was a big decision. But I'd be a kind of positive kind of person. And thanks to God, we all have our health. We're living in a fantastic spot that we can go walking or cycling or, you know, swimming. Anything you want to do, you can do it here. So that's a huge plus, you know. Okay. And I think really and truly, I know the numbers are going up now, all right, but we have the power ourselves to halt them or to slow them down at least, anyway, mm -hmm. you know, by distancing, uh, hand sanitizing, face masks, all the things we're supposed to do. And I think if everybody did that, you know, it would slow things down. Okay. Very good, Mary. That's good advice. And it's, it's like, I, I find it so refreshing, like even for somebody who's, literally lost your business like you know your, yeah. your attitude yeah. and, and yeah. Uh, hasn't changed yeah no yeah. i well i would look at it that way all right you know i say thanks for god we have our health and at the end of the day that's the most important thing now i love the business and it wasn't like work to me at all to be here because we used to have such great fun and chat and stories and everything and a lot of the customers they're more like friends really than customers yes. you know that will come in and out Okay. And I miss that definitely, okay. and but hopefully things will get better, and um, we we get back to that again at some stage. Okay, well, Mary and myself now want to have a cup of coffee, guys. So uh, on that note, uh, from Greens and uh, in Canberra, and from Mary and myself, so long before. And Marcia, oh, sorry, now, yes, of course, that, go no, on. I just want to wish all the fellow publicans that have opened the best to look in in what they're doing. Okay, yeah. well said. All right, thanks very much. That's it, mind over mountains in Canberra. So I'm the